For Russian figure skaters, the international season ended with the Olympics in Beijing, our athletes were not allowed to attend the post-Olympic World Championships. And no one can predict how long this ban will last. And although our officials still deny possible transfers to other national teams, athletes probably think about it. Two-time Olympic medalist Alexander Zhulin and OI champion Tatyana Navka believe that, if the skaters decide to change their citizenship, it should by no means be called a betrayal. This is a personal matter for every skater. What kind of betrayal can we talk about if a person just wants to perform? Let's see how it ends. Someone may not want to play for another country at all. How will Russian people look if they don't speak for Russia? Won't they be pelted with rotten eggs and tomatoes? Can you imagine if Anish Cherbakova changes her citizenship and represents another country? Everyone understands who she is. Russian Russians know that she is Russian, and all Russians are being destroyed and considered outcasts. Let's not dig so deep, but let's wait for some political encroachments. It's not easy for everyone right now. And we, the coaches, used to strive to go to the European and World Championships. But considering the situation in which we found ourselves, as Bodrov said, we are all in the same boat. And then we will come up with something. Everything is now in a moment of waiting and in limbo. I would not advise any of the athletes to build long-term plans now, but to wait a little bit. I am 100% sure that those Russian athletes who will not leave and will continue to perform at Russian competitions will be very strongly supported if there is something left," Julin said. As for athletes changing citizenship, I can say that it is not necessary to react so sharply to their actions and row everyone under the same comb. Everyone in a row should not be called traitors indiscriminately. Everyone has their own life, their own history and their own reasons. Everyone has the right to their choice, Navka believes. Honorary president of the FFKKR Valentin Pisiv is also against treacherous labels, he also allowed the leaders to leave. Of course, if they change their citizenship, they can be understood. Now there is such a situation that nothing can be done. This is life, and every athlete has one, and not a long one, so athletes cannot be criticized for changing citizenship. I will not condemn the athletes who will leave. It is very important to what extent stimulating opportunities will be created in our country so that athletes will be compensated for the income they could receive for participating in international tournaments. The departure of leaders? I do not rule out that some of the leaders will leave, but not en masse. And here's what the fans think about it, opinions are divided.